now I think we'll start with some of the hard questions. And the first one is, how would you define global surgery? Global surgery is, um, I think, it's looking at surgical care delivery, um, both from a um, bird's eye view, mm -hmm. 30,000 foot, looking at it in a global context, but also seeing the the need globally and how do you address it locally. Um, it's, it's kind of two different things from two different perspectives, but it's surgery on a global scale and then the global need, how do you take care of it on the ground. Um, it's both those things. It's, you know, we talk about the surgical ecosystem and, and it's, you know, also looking at systems delivery and all that whole package of the surgical ecosystem. But um, looking at global surgery, I think of it more as surgical care on that global scale and local scale. So with the Atlantic Commission in 2015 and DCP3 and WHA 6815, uh, we saw big changes in global surgery um, and the direction of the field. Uh, but some of us uh, in the room weren't part of the global surgery scene at that point. So would you uh, be able to kind of describe the change that you've seen from uh, before that time and until now? Well, the momentum is just building more and more and more, and we're seeing um, more and more countries coming on board saying, we need help with this. Can you please help us with, you know, national surgical plans to building up particular specialties and, and uh, or health systems. Um, the number of subspecialty groups that are forming global X, so to speak, global anesthesia, global neurosurgery, global plastic surgery, um, global pediatric surgery, they're all coming out and, uh, and yet we're trying to harness all that energy kind of together but they're the experts in each one of those things who so are trying to be somewhat vertical but remain horizontal as well. Mm -hmm. And how do you see the field moving forward as we try to uh, approach surgery from a more horizontal uh, approach? Well, I, I think it's going to, first of all, it, it's going to mature like every, every entity that matures, there'll be some changes and things that, are, that we think at this moment are important that may not be important. Um, but as I said um, in both my talks today, I think the issues in global surgery, um, we're going to get more and more sophisticated and be able to deliver more and more systems approach for global surgery system delivery or service delivery. But I think the needs are growing maybe as fast, if not faster, than we can keep up with them. You know, the issues of climate change and having to rebuild hospitals that are perfectly good hospitals, but you have to put your health dollars into rebuilding hospitals because the sea is taking over the hospital. Mm -hmm. um, the switch to NCDs, that all of those NCDs require surgical care more than communicable diseases. You know, like I, I mentioned, if, if you take a, a fully trained surgeon and a fifth of their time is spent just taking care of diabetic lower extremities, it's a huge chunk of your time. And um, and then NCD surgery is not simple surgery. We talk about essential surgery is just the simple stuff. Well, then you put in diabetic care and vascular problems that lower extremities have with diabetes, and you add on to that cancer. Cancer surgery is not simple surgery. I mean, we made it sound like, yeah, you got a solid tumor, you cut it out, and chance of, of long-term overall survival go up. That's true, but cancer surgery is not simple surgery. It's not the, the you're not going to say we're going to take people off uh, non-physician providers and teach them how to do cancer surgery. It's not going to be anything that any of us could do with any any honesty. So um, we're getting we're going to get more and more sophisticated. We're going to train more and more people, and the needs are growing as fast as we can keep up with them. Mm -hmm. um, and so you've kind of described a, a very broad uh, uh, field that seems to be expanding every day. Um, 
and coming from the World Health Organization where you deal with every aspect of health care, how does global surgery fit within uh, the framework of the World Health Organization and how does that translate into what you do on a daily basis? Well, it fits in nicely with the, you know, what we do is mandated by uh, the World Health Assembly in the United Nations. So it fits in, you know, we have to link everything we do with uh, SDGs, Sustainable Development Goals, which I went through a number of them that are linked to surgery. Um, have to put it, link it with the global program of work, which we, we just got a new one for the next several years. We have to link it with the resolutions. So everything you do within the political system has to be linked to what other people are doing and and mandates from each one of those links. So um, we very closely fit into that. Mm -hmm. um, funding is another issue, and um, priorities are another issue. It fits nicely in WHO, but its um, funding mechanisms make priorities. Mm -hmm. So whoever's putting the most money on the table that becomes a priority. Mm -hmm. And so we're uh, a bit up against that.